it's Rob Bryanton and welcome back again to the Imagine the 10th Dimension video blog. Today we're talking about the concept of digital physics, which uh, relates to something we've talked about a lot in this blog, the idea that information equals reality. And uh, today as the background, actually what we're looking at here is uh, an image of just a small part of my face that's been zoomed in on and uh, Jason has come up with a way to uh, rotate that out so we get this lovely video pattern. Uh, let's use this uh, not just only as a fun video background but also as a way to think about how higher dimensional patterns and shapes could be what is creating the information that becomes our reality down here in the dimensions below. This video blog entry uh, is called John Wheeler and Digital Physics. It's dated April 16th, 2008. And if you uh, go to 10thdimension.com slash blog, you can read along. There are uh, hyperlinks, of course, within the text for that blog that uh, you can click, along, click on as you're uh, reading along with me here. We start out uh, quoting from physicist John Archibald Wheeler, who died just three days ago at the age of 96. And he said, we are participators in bringing into being not only the near and here, but the far away and long ago. We are, in this sense, participators in bringing about something of the universe in the distant past. And if we have one explanation for what's happening in the distant past, why should we need more? That was John Archibald Wheeler. Last blog, we talked about the Omniverse. What if this project had been called Imagining the Omniverse? The omniverse is a term coined to imagine all of the possible universes, all of the parallel universes resulting from chance and choice for each of those universes, all of the possible expressions of matter and energy which exist simultaneously within the underlying quantum fabric of reality. As mind-boggling as that concept is to hold in our heads all at once, there's still another way of looking at all of this. Our specific universe is reflective of big-picture memes ways of organizing that omniverse's information that becomes our reality. Calling that God, or a quantum observer acting within an O region, or just the random assortment of implicate patterns responsible for distilling out one version of reality over another, has much more to do with mindset than the actual processes that we're thinking about. And this is how we got to David Bohm's idea of implicate and explicate order being reflective of how our universe came to be part of just one of the many multiverses that exist within the Omniverse. Ever hear of digital physics? Look that term up in Wikipedia. Experts such as Seth Lloyd, John Wheeler, who we started out this blog quoting from, and David Deutsch, all of whom I have mentioned regularly in this blog, are listed as proponents of digital physics, which advances the same theory that I've been promoting here. Our universe is reflective of patterns that exist within timelessness, and time, as we experience it, is an illusion, only a tiny slice out of what's really happening out there. Digital physics does not require there to be extra dimensions, but I believe it ties very nicely to what I've been talking about here, the idea that our universe is created one plank length after the next, with our fourth dimensional line of time Twisting and turning in the fifth dimension is the way into that discussion. Comparisons between digital physics, the universe as a hologram, and the idea that we as observers could reverse fine-tune our universe are all connected to the way of visualizing reality that I'm promoting here. And there are clear echoes of the matrix and all of this as well, which makes some people assume I'm talking about science fiction here. But the 10th dimension meme continues to grow as more and more people begin to see connections between their own ways of understanding reality and what's being discussed here. John Wheeler was a strong believer in the anthropic principle, which ties into the omniverse idea I talked about in the last blog entry as well. As his quote at the start of this blog entry reveals, he also liked to talk about the role of the quantum observer in a self-excited circuit that creates the reality we see around us from out of the background of quantum indeterminacy, and that is a fascinating discussion by itself. Now there's some previous blog entries you can uh, click on if you're reading along here in the blog uh, that can be related to my way of visualizing reality. Uh, one of them is Infinity and the Boltzmann Brains, which is also available as a uh, video blog entry on YouTube and elsewhere. Uh, some of the songs that relate to these ideas are called See No Future, What Was Done Today, 
and the anthropic viewpoint, all of which you'd be able to find if you search for those on the video sites where uh, the Tenth Dimension uh, videos are being posted. Um, another of the video blogs that uh, you can find if you search for it is called Boredom and Consciousness, and that also gets into some of the ideas from John Wheeler and how uh, we could actually be creating our reality not just forward in time, but backward as well. And that crazy idea comes not from me, but from one of the mainstream quantum physics physicists of our time. That's all for today. And uh, my name's Rob Bryant, and this is the Imagining the Tenth Dimension video blog. Enjoy the journey.